Yeah, we in the building. You already know who it is. Your boy Meek Millie. You know me. I'm so fly. I've been looking like money every time I ride by. We ain't, j- we ain't talking a minute, man. What's up? What's good with you? We talked on the streets. Yeah, I mean, but you know, on the radio. Like we ain't, you yeah. know what I mean? We ain't, you know what I mean? We ain't really. We ain't, we haven't we haven't had a sit down in a long time. Yeah. A lot okay. Uh, uh, first off, no your chick, homie, get a blood test. You were upset, homie, where the love at? When we talking about Philly North, I can run that. Same place I've been them corners, you can never come back. Turn the beat up, son. Okay. I can't hear the beat. Nigga, thumb back. Nigga, car, nigga, car, nigga, car, nigga. When you hate it, when you lost, nigga, I, I can't remember. Spark, nigga, you hating it. Get you on that and get you off. Yikes. When you were screaming, come to my hotel. Homie, we were slinging work out the motel. No scale. I know you so well. I got your chick. I pulled that flash like here. Coattail. Let's keep it trilla. You ain't never make a dope sell. You ain't never play that corner make a sell. On a late night swimming with the great whites. You was wearing do rags, big tees, fake mics. Boy, you had a wild week shopping on Canal Street. Same place you bought your fake chain in your timepiece. Wow. Huh? Wow. I just stepped in the building, too. Wow. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. How we gonna believe you? Homie, I should leave you. Talking PC, that was never Beanie Seagull. That was never me. Why you lying to the people? I was locked down, still doing it's illegal. Running around the jail like I ain't give a hell when you was on PC locking in with Mel's. I could do this all day, too. Wow. Right? I ain't even driving on a beat no more. We ain't doing that. I'm wow. just in full attack, beast mode on whatever. Wow. And DC3 on the way, dreams and nightmares in stores. Meek Mill is here. DC3 is on. When is it coming out? Uh, DC3, I'm just working on it, man. When I get like 70% of it done, uh, I'm going to give up a date. You know, it's coming before April. You okay. know that? All right. So you were just you were just rapping. Uh, it was a couple lyrics in there. Uh, you know. It's crazy. <sighs> we... All right, I gotta I gotta say something to you because I I said it off the air to you. Come on with your oh, ass. You know, he nah, you oh nah, couldn't bet a hundred grand. This small tab. Vert, this gonna make your dog mad. This verse gonna hit the, go harder than that car crash that you should have died then. Wow. Mad that you survived it. Now I can't murder you and have you scuba diving, swimming with the fishes. All you knocking on the wood, superstitious. Pause that. I'm all at. I'm really in the trenches. And when I see you, I'ma have you jumping fences, cutting through the alley. You must be on the Mali, messing with that white girl, sniffing all that Bobby. Come to your hotel, and meet you in the lobby. Just the world star you and do you like Tommy? Hearns did Martin, I burn in the Martin that Asked him when I started like a lion when it's wrong, huh? Like a lion when it's wrong, huh? This wow. is like a wow. fun. I, I, I can like, see. You know I'm I can tell. Fun. I'm Meek. not laying no more songs or letting nobody get no interviews. You get a few more off of this, and I quit. Meek, we talked off the, you know, in the streets, and it was the whole thing. Well, I don't know. You want to clarify? It for Hold me. up. You go ahead again. Go you on. can't even get a show. Shoot you like a pan of Reggie. They could get you for the low. And I'm like a brick of diesel. We call 60 for the flow. You ain't a gangster. You a wankster, homie. 50 even though. Oh, you say you a gangster, but you never shot nothing. And you like your homie out. When you heard the cops coming, rapping for a long time, homie, you ain't got nothing. You ain't want to battle me. Stop fronting down, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. What happened to you? You had a dog house with a dog house in your backyard. Now you living in a dog house in the backyard. DZ, I was broke then. Now I got a black car. His career <laughs> maxed out. It's like a Mac car. Man, this is like too easy, man. man. Meek Mill. So listen, just what we're going to do. Ah! <laughs> Meek is here. It's your new Hot 7 now. Police House Station for Hip Hop and R&B. It's the QDZ show. Meek Mill, he's yeah. here. What's up, Meek? Ain't nothing chilling. I don't hear my volume over here. Yeah, I think it's right. You, oh, you, yeah, I got yeah. it. All right, it's live and local, man. Like We don't do no tapes over here. Meek, man, what's good with you, dog? Ain't now, I, I wanted to talk to you live on the air because, um, you know, I made the mistake. I saw your your video clip, and I made the mistake. And I Hold was up. Like, Before you get to that 23 and 1, oh, man. never get to see the Hold sun. On. Had Hold to on. get a glass visit just so you could see the sun. Took a deal on your homie because you couldn't beat the gun that was trying to give him life. Man, you know that wasn't right. Then you left him in the hood. Oh, you got that V right there? Started from the bottom that we had? I mean, 
I mean, you you just kept rapping, so I was like, let me just pull it out the tuck. I mean, everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, I say 23 and 1, never get to see the sun. Had to get a glass visit just so you could see your son. Took a deal on your homie because you couldn't beat the gun. That was trying to give him life. Man, you know that wasn't right. Then you left him in the hood on his head. He had a price. You ain't even give a call of a shot him twice. And not get a buzz up my name for some light. You dead rapper, I'm at you. I'm going to get you on the night, acidy. Boy, you so trash to me. Uh. I did you do the math, that's subtracting me. You ain't popping, what the hell could you add to me? You just another dead body, never casualty. I'm in the street, so I do this beef casually. And I ain't even right this ish. Why you mad at me? Cause I'm perfectly timing, flow perfectly timing. I'm giving gas. I'm in the Aston one Swizzy design and I'll beat it. I'm getting heated and I know you need it. I got that Justin Bieber, please believe it. Homie, I know you see it. They play piano at your view and let Alicia key it. I asked Swizzy, could she do it? He like to beat it. Swiss don't mess with you. Mellow didn't either. You up that checkup. You bit the hand that feeds you. <laughs> Yo, this this talk about anybody. Oh, we gonna have time for like a little snoop right now. Um, talk about Mike Vick, man. Just just Mike uh, Vick. Last time I seen Mike Vick, he got me ten bands. It's little Snoop Dirty Deck, ten grand. Ah, hold up. All right, no, I mean, uh, yo, this core loose right here too. Yeah, like, yeah. Out. yeah. We yo, we got. Can we get some new? Hey, yo, ask Blake for his headphones. We need some more headphones for. For Meek Mill, man, we, live in, the stu- we live in the studio. Started from the bottom, now my whole team really here. I'm going to kill them all this year. Started from the bottom, now my whole team really here. So, Meek, yeah. I said I was, I, I have to apologize to you. And hey, yo, let's get it clear to Q. These the one who started the Cassidy Beast. Come on, too. dog. That's what you going to do? Yeah, you is the one, though. No, I didn't start it. I was, I, I misspoke on something, and... I said, I, I, you know, I apologize, but I thought that you said you wanted to battle, Cassie, uh, and that's what you didn't uh, what say had that. Happened, what had happened? Uh, you didn't say that. What had happened was, though. Uh, but you said it happened they, before uh, that. Shaheen Reed, he said, what's your, what's your greatest battle of all time you want to see? Yep. I said, I want to see Murder Mook and Cassidy battle. When I was uh, battling, that was like the biggest battle that was ever online. And, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, at the time, you know, Cassidy was popping. You know, he was saying, he was saying, better 100,000 than me to, uh, to Murder Mook. You remember? Yep. And you know, when it came to battle at me, better 100,000 now. You know what I'm saying? So, are we ever going to no, see? No, I ain't battling no more. No more? No. It's over? Yeah, it's over. See, me, see, this is what I don't feel, right? I rap, man. All my home, we love rap. We love listening to rap, this, that, and the third. Man, if back in the day, it was like you had 50 Cent, Ja Rule. Mm-hmm. What made you get off Ja Rule? I mean, I think it was... I think people no. What made people get off hit Jaru? records? Hit records. No. What made them get off of him when he was going through it with Fifty? No, I think it was because of Fifty had those hit records. Fifty had the hit records. He had the street credibility. What What is your answer? Yeah, it was. It was like, it was like I don't know Jaru personally, and I don't got nothing against him. Okay. From me as a kid, I was like seventeen at the time. Fifty made little Jaru look like that he wasn't about nothing he was talking about, and I ain't want to hear it no more. And nowadays, like. I'm going to say social sites is like you got more weird guys than cool guys on social sites. So, like, that's like if you're having a, 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 a talk in a room full of people, a guy that got a weird, crazy opinion <laughs> nine times out of ten, he might not really say nothing in the room yeah. because everybody might look at him like, but, you know, Twitter now, you can say anything you want. You know what I'm saying? You can put a, big, you can put a picture up of Biggie right now on Twitter, rest in peace, B-I-G. You see 10, 20 comments. Yeah, he should have died. You're like, yo, man. Yeah, people know people get crazy. Yeah, that's how it is. So I'm like, man, if we playing this type of game, I ain't even playing. And then, like, if we doing it to release songs the next day and all, I don't, I'm not doing it for that. You know what I'm saying? When's the next album, Meek? Uh, my next album coming 2011, 2000, and, what's this, 13? It's thir- I think it's 13, Meek. <laughs> Maybe it's just too, you don't know what, what year it is. You get Life so much money. Moving. Life is moving fast, seriously, man. Uh, yeah, I'm dropping an album, man. Yeah, you know, we on and popping over here. Okay, and uh, y'all just released a click uh, freestyle with uh, Lee Mazin and uh, Louis V. Yeah. When we are we gonna see a collaboration album? Like, what's what's the uh, future for that? Uh, you know, everybody just gotta do their thing, grind hard, and turn up, man. You know, and I'm here to help take things to the next level. Well, I know you got some other ventures you were just telling us about off the air. Yeah, please bring them in. Please come on, come on, come on in, come on in. Um, some other ventures you were talking about uh, that you have going on. Headphones, talk, talk to them. Headphones, Puma, talk to them. Uh, actually, I'm working on a deal right now. Uh, 
Monsters, they like the first people that made the uh, Dre Beats. Uh, the first company that produced the Dre Beat uh, headphones. And, uh, you know, got endorsement deal with Puma. Uh, signed the Maybach Music, Warner Brothers slash Atlantic now. You know, I got my own label, you know, just trying to prosper out here, trying to get money, live life, take care of my family, and have fun at the same time. Got you now. Because, you know, this game will slave you. Yeah. So that when you see me on Instagram having a ball, I ain't trying to make you mad, man. I'm just trying to live my life and have fun at the same time because we work hard. And, you you know, you you, you touched on, um, you know, being signed to Maybach. How's Rick Ross? I know, you know, he went through something last week shooting. Man, How's people get doing? shot at every day, B. You from <laughs> Philly? Seriously. People get shot at every day, B. So he cool? Yeah, of course. He ain't get shot. He, he definitely cool. All right, Meek Mill is here, y'all. You signing anybody? Because that's what a lot of people are calling. They want to know. Is yeah, Meek Mill signing but anybody me, else? Me, like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get an order myself, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get these people that I got on my label, like, off the ground, get them up and move them. You know what I'm saying? Even though they got to they gotta, they gotta drive the train themselves. But I'm just trying to put it, because, you know, I'm from Philly. And as me coming up, nobody tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. had to learn it on my own. And these guys, I'm putting in a position, showing them a few things. So, you know what I'm saying? They can learn them more early and maybe they can get popping faster than me. You know, I came up fast and I got on. Got you. Me I mean, it's, it seems like it has been fairly fast that you got on. But can you tell everybody, because a lot of people call up and they like, yo, Meek, put me on, Meek. You know, like before you met Rick Ross, that was what? What year was that? 08? 2010. 2000, wow, 2010. I probably met him in 09, though. Okay, so how many years before that you were rapping? Like 10. Like 10 years? Like, yeah. so you didn't just come up, meet Rick Ross, and it was just, you were on your way? Nah. Gotta get somebody, give him advice. Like, if I'm a rapper right now, I'm listening to the radio, and I'm trying to get down or whatever. Like, what's your see, advice See, I tried that. I don't knock people. I tried that method one time. I had to try to come up here and see QDZ and then one time and got put out the hallway. And I was mad. I was sick about them. I'm like, damn, they put me out the hallway. I'm trying. Come on, ho, ho. You a whole trespass. You, uh, when was this? It wasn't you, but you know, oh, okay. it was somebody else. Because listen, you, you, yeah, this is, QD's is the first person that bought me on the radio. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just put saying. me on my first footage with Dan. Shout out to Dan. Gave my first footage. Okay, I'm just saying. I had the nappy braids with the uh, little polo tee on. You, well, I remember that. I still watch that. All right, we got, we got the. We'll put that video on hot 1079 But it was been, it's been a minute, so. You tried that that method and it didn't work. Yeah. So if I'm listening right now, I'm like, damn, I'm really trying to get on. Like, how do I, how do I do it, Meek? I'm trying to get the grind hard. I say, man, I'm like, see, a lot of people don't know this, man. Back before, before Rick Ross and all that, we was pushing out thirty thousand mixtapes and stuff like that, and just chilling the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't depend on you know what I'm saying. I, I can't call. I ain't used to call you like that. We call talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I might come to the radio. I don't call you and try to press you to play new songs or nothing like that. I think you just got to do your own thing. And, you know, some people could add to your situation. But if you ain't doing your own thing, nobody going to change your life for and, and Or take you to somewhere you ain't trying to take yourself. What's one thing? Because I, I, I kind of know, but let, let them know. What's the one thing that you have to consistently do that people don't see? Because the only thing they see is the Instagram. They see the cars. They see all that stuff. What's the what's some of the things that you have to do to maintain what you what you doing? Uh, you got to do radio. <laughs> yeah. This one, like, no matter if you got, you can have an after party. You got to travel. You got to travel across the world. Like, them, them flights hurt your back. You catching seven, eight flights a day. I mean, a week, seven, eight flights a week. You got to get to the place. You got to hit that studio all night. You know, we be in them studios. If you check my Instagram, we go probably from like one in the afternoon to. 11 in the morning the next day, you know what I'm saying? You just got to, like, outgrind anybody you ever seen before with your own physical eyes, you know what I'm saying? I came up around, like, Ross. He the first person that really showed me, like, I'm like, this dude Rich, he in the studio from 10 in the morning to 6 in the morning, then he right back at 10 again, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's the, um, I guess, the one thing that you, you got to do in this game that you're happy, like, for your family or whatever? Yeah, first thing was move my mom out the hood. You know, all my rats I used to talk about, the time I get my mom out the hood and all that, you know what I'm saying? And my mom was living on 18th and Burks. Uh, like, really at the end, it, it kind of got kind of cool because it turned, like, to a temple area, so it was more safer. But the block was, like, crazy, you know what I'm saying, for your mom just to be living in a house, house big as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, a bedroom, a real bedroom, you know yeah. what I'm saying, a little apartment. And, you know, just to take my mom from that to the, 
next level like that overnight you know that was my most important my sister got my sister out the hood you know i'm working on more family members now that's what mean the most to me i don't instagram my family and stuff like mm -hmm. that but if i did i'd be instagram my family and stuff like that all day you know what i'm saying yeah all right meek mill he's here uh people anything y'all he's he's right here please if you don't call up like meek i'm trying to get on he, he just answered all of that for you. He's here. He's live and local. It's the QDZ I ain't say, show. I ain't say don't try it sometimes, but you know what I'm saying? If you see Jay-Z, man, you ain't going to really get a chance to spit no 16 for no Jay-Z. Security going to grab you and everything. So, you know, you just got to try to work hard and catch people like that attention. Like anybody that's in the game, catch their attention and do your thing, man. You know, God should work in your way. All right. Meek Mill's here. I'm going to see if I can um put another beat on, see if he's going to rap again. Okay. I got rap. I go dizzy. This is this what you do. All right, on the other side, keep it. Live. Meek, what um, what actually went down that night with uh, you were in New York and the fight happened with Chris Brown and the Drake situation. I know you were there. Uh man, I was. You know, fights happen every day, B. Like we said, people get yeah. shot at every day. I be there. I go to the clubs. You go to the club in Philly, man. Somebody might get shot in there. True that. Were you were you a little pissed that they were throwing your name? Yeah, in the I was pissed. Yeah, I was pissed. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I gotta. I got kids that look up to me and things like that. I got on probation. I'll just be involved in me. I'm in court. I'm in court. I don't. I, I ain't been in trouble since I was 19. Mm -hmm. Mind you, too. Like, so I don't be wanting everybody to think like, no, nah, I'm a criminal. I'm not a criminal anymore. We passed that life. Businessman making money. I'm in court. They in there talking about a bottle fight and all. Why y'all? You believe in the paper? It got me. I'm fit to go to jail for a news reporter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how's your relationship with uh, with Chris Brown? I don't know. I ain't got no relationship to him. I talked to him the same night. It's no problem. I don't got no problem with Chris Brown. Uh, DZ. I just came from LA. I was just it was just me. Uh, K Smith. Actually, uh, K Smith and my man in Hood. Hood like uh, Chris Brown. They like best friends or whatever. Okay. They all we always together. Not Chris Brown. Hood all because we always used to hang out together. This, that, and the third. We was all together, whatever. And you know it wasn't nothing. We got past us, man. You know people, and it's the views people have all the time. Now I just was there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we talked that same night. You see, he tweeted. What was the uh, What was the conversation that night? Uh, it was just like, you know, I was ducking bottles too. Everybody <laughs> in the club was ducking bottles. He was ducking bottles, so it was a drink. Like it wasn't. We ain't had nothing towards each other, basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, I don't, I don't be like. I just don't. You know, interviews just keep asking you about it and, and fueling it and, and making it. I don't got no problem with nobody in the game, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem with no rappers or nothing like that or no singers or anything of that sort. You know what I'm saying? I see him, I'm not going to be have no problem towards him. Or if I see any rapper, I'm not going to have no problems towards him. Say Chris Brown was like, man, Meek, I want to I wanna get on the, you know, the, the next album. Yeah, that's it's business. It's money to be made. But, you know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't look forward to doing business with nobody you know what i'm saying i just do it and it naturally flow you know what i'm saying got you meek mills in here qdz show i mean I, like i said meek we haven't talked in a minute yeah and it's just been it's been so much stuff i told you ask me anything i want i'm just on some raw i don't i don't care no more all right man rihanna man like everyone what? wants to know did were you and Rihanna romantically linked? I said it like I was on. I had, extra. I had, I had dreams about Rihanna, man. I think I think the press and stuff. I think they just took it too far, where because you know she was doing a little tweet and they just blew it out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? They might have messed my flow up. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. But you know, I I, don't, I never had Rihanna ever. I'm no, I'm just looking at you. Because you last homies. time he asked me about Rihanna, I'm like, yo, stop, keep asking me. Because you know, you know why. I mean? You know what I'm saying? I got a girlfriend. I don't got no girlfriend no more. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. It be things like that. You, I don't got no girlfriend no more. I argue with my girlfriend about fantasy dreams and stuff like that. That's another thing. Was it? Is it? And I don't just had dreams about. I had dreams about all them chicks. Like who? All of them. Who? Who name? Let me see who. See, I know these girls' boyfriends and stuff like that, so I can't really name them, but. You know, the piece ain't people you had dreams about. Beyonce. I don't uh, have no, that's my man whole girl. But you said that's the same dreams I wife. have. You said the same dreams. Well, you know, I, I, I probably used to have one until I met their boyfriends and stuff like that. Okay. And then we start, had a relationship and start making money together. Yeah, at least, but you can't say at least she married. And yeah, that's your homie. That's my that's man. Homie. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Malaya? How about Malaya? The stripper? Oh, yeah, I just seen her video the other day. Man. All-Star Weekend, uh... Next week is yeah, it? Yeah, I'll be out there. 
Yeah, I'm going to throw some ones at her. Bottles on me. I got, yeah. And I don't even throw ones no more. I think it's a waste of money. I'm going to give her a little tip. How much you, uh, how much you throwing now? If you, I don't you know. Throw it ain't going to be a lot. 20? I'm in a hood. They even get mad when they see me throwing money on the stadium. Man, you could have gave that to me when you slid through the other night. Yeah. And that's was, true. Was it, um... What what happened with your? You say you you want to talk about everything. What happened with the relationship? Why did that? Why couldn't that work? Was it because of the oh. fame? You and you said you had a girlfriend at oh, the time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And and it wasn't just based on that one room. It's a lot, man. You go in there, you see me on the drink foot. Just because somebody you be around or you uh getting rhythm or something like that don't mean like you you, you got somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the case. Give me everything then. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know. Everybody, you brush shoulders with all these chicks and everybody, but you know, it don't be what everybody's seeing to make it. Now, Tierra Marie. I don't even know her. Y'all got to start throwing some names, I seen, I seen Tierra Marie once. I don't know her. Okay. Have you have you ever... And then, too, man, like, just think about it. How much of a clown would I be on the radio talking about, I nailed this and that. I just told you, don't ask me about it. Really, I wouldn't even address it, but yeah. how much of a clown would I be on here talking about? Girls are already scared of me from Instagram because they know I say anything. These y'all, and that's what I'm saying. Y'all ask me questions that, like I won't say it on the Instagram. I, like, if I get mad or I feel some type of way, I'm gonna say it. I remember you said something uh, just about your relationship. So you're saying that your relationship didn't work out because of just the fame of you being Meek Mill, the rapper. Look, uh, O'Malley just texted me. What's up, O? Yeah, he O'Malley texted me. Yo, you funny as ish. Tell QDZ stop it with the chick question. <laughs> Yo, oh, this is, see, what well, O'Malley, don't, I wish he was up here, oh. What happened was, we was here, he's like, Meek, I'm going to tell y'all, Meek was like, I was like, man, we, you know, we get in and out. He like, that's it, dog? He started snapping on me. Then he, yeah, got this dude, he got this dude in the background. That's he how boxed. I'm feeling. He like, man. You know, my, he started flexing. My man flexing. Joey Bean in, there, in the background. Free TP, too. Man. Yeah. So. Free Earn, too. Free Lil Fahim. Free, free everybody and them thing. That's up top, too. Are we ever going to see Meek in some some movies? Yeah, of course. TV shows? Of course. You know, I'm just working my lane. I'm working lane from lane to lane. You know what I'm saying? It's, rapping is just a platform. Make money here. I make money a lot of different places, too. You know what I'm saying? So I just grow with the situation. Whatever presents itself, you know, I like to do. I like to act and stuff. You know, we did the little street movie yeah. a minute ago. Uh, I, like, I like it. But, you know, whatever presents itself, whatever's... Whatever opportunity I could get to make some money and uh, take my career to the next level, I'm with it. Hold on one second. Let me see what we got here. Nah, not that. Uh, no, Beamer, no. Benz, that? and Bentley Flow. Okay, Beamer, Benz, and Bentley Flow. Okay, Beamer, Benz, and Bentley Flow. No, I don't want this, though. You don't want this? All right, let me see what we... No, I don't like this either. Okay. All right, let me Give me something. No. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I be forgetting my raps a lot too. Now I ain't like I used to be. Sitting sideways, puffing on a purple. Matter of fact, uh, uh. hold on, let me get it. Once I catch a flow, DZ, I'm gonna catch it though. All right, I'm gonna bring it back. Give me another beat though. You go want, you want beat? We live too, right? Yeah, we live. Yeah, just go through something. Hold on, let me see. That's, I mean, it's your joint. Keep going. Let me see. Yeah, see, that's a this is the type of rapper I am okay. right here. Okay, all right, all right. Cute uh. DZ show. Yeah, Meek, Mill. Meek Millie, uh Look, I'm just trying to live my life Cause suckers ain't living right Started with a dollar, was grinding Get a uh, nah, nah, Cause all of us in a light Thinking you're Superman, I'm bullets like kryptonite And I remember nights, I couldn't remember nights And now I'm balling, it's sharp talking, I did it twice And all these chickens calling, cause all of us in a light I'm all about my money, my homies is just alike We don't fear nobody Talk behind my back, cause every time I'm in a trap I never had nobody F around, they gon' find your head, nobody Got four pound, knock a sucker so out of him Dead Lord, forgive me for my sins Forgive me all my homies, all the ish we did for ends Cause we did it for the paper, just to ride in the bins Who the up need enemies, friends killing they friends, huh? Huh? Meek Mill Friends killing they friends, huh? What's the one thing? Yeah Why you bringing back? I was about to cut off? Yeah Uh, what you was about to say though? I was about to say, what was the one thing that you lost due to this game? Like we heard the album, a couple Hold friends. Up. 
Niggas rather see you shot up before they see you pop up. Chain around your neck, all fresh, pulling that drop up. Came around and set nothing less for me to cop. Oh, what I said? Uh, what I said? Uh, I said. You just shot up before they see you pop up. A chain around your neck, all fresh, pulling that drop up. Couple summers back, homies had it, I couldn't cop up. But I wasn't hating, I was patient to get this guap up. Just look at their faces, now I made it, nigga got up. And then later, just rather see me on lock up in a cold cell with no mail or no bell. Like, oh well, I did that. Now it's like the top floor of a hotel with my crib back. And these haters wanna pull my coattail, but I live that. And I know I'm on the feeling of getting kidnapped. But I kill your mama's side to get my kid back. Homie, you dig that? Huh? Meek is here. It's all good just a week ago. QDZ show. They hating on me now. I'm eating though. We'll be back on the, in a second. We got to put it down. We got. We I got, know your chick listening to the weekend though. I'm going to put it down. You going to fall in love. Meek, I just want to thank you for coming in. Uh, spitting. Just being open. Two Glock nines. Right, let us go. stop mine. Red beam. Slow a hater down like a stop sign. You claiming that you cop nines when really you drop down the stop line. I'm getting money times five. My homie selling them chickens. You thinking it's pie pie. Now we wildin', my diamonds be tied out. Up in the kitchen, I whip it like wild out. This is up the top, high 1079. They say me Millie, where you been at on my grind? With a bad chicken at 69. She like a ticket on that, cause she fine. My flow ain't like Snoop, he go off the top. I can't spit it off no top. I'm on the block. <laughs> I can't do it no Yo, more off the top speaking, like that. Speaking of Snoop, um, I say Lil Snoop probably pull up in a little coupe. How, how's he doing? Rums big, looking like hula hoops. O'Malley, I tell him pull and shoot. He don't play around. Whoa, Lil Snoop in Louisiana getting his paper. I'm out in Philly on the radio talking about haters. I've been out here for a long time, and now I'm balling like the Lakers. They mad because I don't give them favors. I used to record at the bad cave, but now I pull out like a bad man. Cause I'm sitting in that hey. It's like no, I was just messing around. Man. So Lil Snoop, I saw uh online, Lil Snoop was battling um Deshaun Jackson's artist. Deshaun Jackson ran out on us. Have you talked to Deshaun since yeah, then? Yeah, yeah, I talked is to him he, all the time. Is, yeah. is, he, is he cool? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Everything <laughs> straight? Yeah. All right, man. I so, was mad at him. I was like, man, come on, man. You didn't shake my man little Snoop hand before you left. I, no, no, nah, that's my man. Snoop said, he said, Deshaun Jackson going to see me and be like, F me, man. Yeah, that was a that was an intense battle. But, I mean. Yeah, Deshaun it, Jackson, he cool. That's the homie. Don't right. understand. Meek, man, appreciate you coming up. I know uh, when Dream Chases 3 come, come back up to the QDZ show. Yeah. Appreciate it. And like again. And two, this is what we're gonna do too. What's up? Let's get it right. You see how we just did all that? Yeah. Like every interview, like if you do an interview with me, anybody, don't ask me no questions. We answer no more. That's why we at Hot 107, you know what I'm saying? When we go to the next place, don't ask me no questions that's been answered already. Just go to YouTube and replay it. Or yeah. ask Kudizi, because yeah. he know. Yeah, go to hot 107 Dream Chase is on the way. Dreams and nightmares in stores right now. Make sure you go get that Wale new single right now called Bad. Just dropped on iTunes last night. Yeah, everybody's out at the Grammys. You, what's up with your traveling situation? Yeah, I'm traveling. Oh, you traveling? I'm traveling like I'm walking. Okay. Better yet, I'm dubbing it. Uh, uh, try. Too dizzy. I spit it off the top. It's too easy. A lot of people hate me now. I talk too greasy. Was working like a slave to live like a king. You'd be surprised with all this fame and all this money bring. Wrist froze, my neck on bling. I'm living hard like I'm a king. I don't got no more. Okay. I'm selling chickens. I ain't got no store. <laughs> Meek Mill, QDZ Show. For all of that, what you just happened, the freestyles, the interview is going to be on hot 7 now Just two, give us a look, second. look, we ain't talking about, we just making hits. I might, I'm going to, this I'm going to start doing. We got it, we got it, what? Well, you said on Twitter or Instagram that you just made the best song of your life. I forget what, when that was. What's the name of the song? Can you give us I a little? I don't know the name of it. I ain't got no name yet. Like, no get name. Get ready, that's for my new album. And what's the new album dropping? Uh, 2013. All right. I don't have an official date. You know, I just came out in October, so my official date should be coming like four months. Like, it's about that DC3 next and that Dreams and Nightmares in stores right now. Go get it. We at like almost 400 right now. I'm about to touch gold. Here's another thing I got to commend you on. A lot of people with you, they only talk about the negative. They yeah. only talk about the rap battles or whatever. But nobody was talking, and I texted you that day. Yeah. 
Nobody talked about when you gave the money to Strawberry Mansion School. Yeah, let me tell you. Let's talk. Let's get into that too. We got a little couple minutes. Yeah, uh, just yeah. That's what I hate, man. That's a, and that's what I. That's why I, all my interviews, I'm just going bad on whatever. I don't care no more because no matter what you do, how you do it, they're gonna try to make you look bad regardless. You know where we at? We in North. What's the City Line Avenue? Yeah. When I get out of City Line Avenue, where else is it to go? QDZ, tell me. Which way is it for me to go? In the house or where? You got to go all in the hood. Just to the hood. There ain't yeah. nowhere else to go. So, you know what I'm saying? I always try to take care of the kids in my hood because me coming up, I ain't never had nobody doing nothing for me. Or the rappers I looked up to doing anything that had to do with nothing in the hood, really. Every once in a while, I used to see it. I try to make sure I give it back and hold it down. But at the same time, like, oh, you see me tweeting yesterday. I'm tweeting about P.O. P.O. My P.O. like she hate me or something. Like, how you hate me? You don't even know me. How could you be my P.O. if you don't like me? That's a conflict. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm out here giving money to schools on Christmas. Like Christmas, uh, what would we do? Uh, I saw you giving coats oh, yeah, and, and no, toys. On Christmas, yeah, we went to, uh, we went to Toys R Us. Like, see, it's a difference the way people do it. I go to Toys R Us myself. I go to Toys R Us with my cash on me. Pick the toys out myself. It's $7,000 worth of toys. You know how long that take? That take two hours. We take it to the shelter on uh, Bro and Fairmount. And and walk it in there with the kids and the little families and things like I don't, I don't even like seeing that how how they be living inside them shelters. But I had to stay. I didn't want to see. I made sure I went in there myself and did that. Handed it out to them kids or anything I do. Don't try to make me look bad or don't try to build nothing up on me because I'm making money right now. Because I was playing Joe. If I was a plain Joe dude, just a regular guy, when they was fighting in the club, you think my name would have came up? You know what I'm saying? Know. I ain't been in trouble in five years. What that tell you, QDZ? You out here working. You doing yeah, what you got to do. I'm doing what I got to do. I'm taking care of my family. You know what I'm saying? I got a job. I'm not even never around. I'm traveling to city, city all the time. What else? What you want me to do? I feel you. Meek Mill, everybody. Let's give it up for Meek Mill. Just know QDZ 1079. No, when they talking bad about me, let's just say. Ho, ho, ho. What about with Meek Mill? When Pastor Jomo came up here, dude, yeah. oh, I had yeah, you yeah, back. Yeah, definitely. Cause I know what you. And you yeah, where, I just where wanna, was you at? Yeah, I just ain't. I just ain't want him to like. I wasn't yeah. like really. Even they brought that up on court in, in court throwing me really? too. He disrespecting pastors and all. I'm, uh, I'm not disrespecting me. Disrespecting me. I'm defending myself. It's just that when I see like when I go look on Twitter, son. You look on Twitter. You see Cassidy coming talking about you. You see Neef Buck talking about you. Y'all dudes ain't never do nothing I did out here. You know what I'm saying? And not even talking about no money, me having more money or doing, going further. I'm talking about just period. If I wasn't on probation, you still might catch me coming through on a dirt bike. People will still be able to touch me. I still go to the clubs. I still make sure I look out at everybody. I'm still giving verses. This is the young guy I ran into uh, when I ran into. I was out in Miami the other day. I ran into a young dude that rap. I met him probably on on, on Broad Isle Gain, Broad Airy, with Books and Noble, Barnes and Noble, Black Bro and Noble. Broad and Airy. Black and Noble. Mm -hmm. I met him probably like in 07. Heard him spitting out there. Seeing him in Miami the other day. He come in the VIP, pop a bottle, and live with it the same way. You know what I'm saying? I try to make sure I keep keep a level head to to the city in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't never want to be the one like, I'm coming home. I don't feel comfortable outside. I feel comfortable when I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? When I go to a party, I feel comfortable. And I try to hold it down and open up a lane for the next person that come behind me, because I made a lot of money in like a year and a half, you know what I'm saying? The next person that come behind me, I want him to have a better success than me, you know what I'm saying? No matter if he getting money with me or without me, as long as he's from our area. Got you. Meek Mill, appreciate you coming to the QDZ show. Yeah, New Hoplum 79. This, this interview will be on video like on Hoplum 79. Even when that com. little girl got kidnapped, too, like, you know, I just made sure I got involved with it because I knew I could make it more 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 press on it really and a little girl getting kidnapped oh dang you i don't care about nobody talking about this is snitching or whatever it's a little five-year-old girl got kidnapped could be say anybody. it again man, it could please. be somebody else's family member or whatever it could have been my family member your family member or, or whatever but you know i just made sure i got involved with it because i might know some people that's her family it's from philly you know what i'm saying i'm looking at i'm I watching all the other rappers that got their little 10,000 30,000 followers Go go recheck them. I bet they ain't say a damn. They ain't say one word about it. They put up their new Jordans, and they uh, <laughs> and they knew uh, what else people wear nowadays? What's the trend on Instagram, basically? I mean, yeah, you know, Jordans, Lebrons, you know. Yeah, all that's of that. all they was doing, man. And you know, I try to participate in my community and bring 
anything I can. I'm not a role model. I ain't going to say I'm the best role model to be, but, you know, I try to talk to the kids when I can. Live my life. You know where I came from. No doubt. Meek Mill, QDZ Show, New Hop on 7 Yeah. Y'all.